boy. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is my fourth playthrough, and in two of my previous playthroughs, I went to the islands west of Clemens Point, which is a gang camping point, and the best way to do it is to give your horse a stimulant and swim to the islands. Arthur could swim, but it would be an extremely long swim. Uh, John can't swim at all. And using a boat, you could do so when you're at Clemens Point and if you buy a boat. But before that, this is the best way to do it. And you just swim toward the islands. Once you get to the islands, traveling between them is relatively easy. And there's a reason why you should go to these islands. There are several animals that you need to hunt if you're going to try and complete the compendium 100%. And you can get a certain animal skin early. There's also a lot of wild um, herbs you can harvest on these islands. And there are some special items on these islands. Came here fairly early in the game, so a muskrat is one of the creatures you can regularly find on the island. Uh, if you use the varmint rifle, you'll probably get a three-star pelt. But there are other animals. There's turkeys, rabbits, a variety of different animals on this island. Again, there's also herbs. Now, I'm looking for a specific animal. Yep, right here. And it is a iguana. Yeah, I'm not going to rope it. Yep, study it. A green iguana. You need an iguana pelt, perfect iguana pelt, if you want to make a certain item, satchel for Pearson or an item for the um, trapper. You need iguana pelts. This is a great place to get them, and you don't have to go west. Arthur can get these iguanas and harvest their pelts for uh, crafting items. Another creature you can find is the Cuban land crab. You will need it for the herbalist challenge, number 10, and season the meat. Also, for the compendium, if you're trying to get 100%, most people think it's just in Guarma. No, it is on this island, just like uh, Iguana. And then there's seagulls, which I'm shooting at and missing. Again, there's plenty of food and creatures on this island that Arthur can harvest and use. They're a great place to go when you want to just get away. On the island, you'll find a shipwreck right here and it's in this little bay on the island as you can see um, west of Clemens Point and Rhodes in the shipwreck 
are a few items that are kind of of interest. There is a lockbox containing aged pirate rum, and there is a neat tri-corner hat that Arthur can find, and it's on the opposite end of a half wall to the lockbox, and the tri-corner hat is kind of neat. You wear it, and it makes Arthur look like a pirate. There are some snapping turtles on this island as well, but no alligators. So, yeah, a little hunting, a little running around. You can find some interesting things. Travel between the islands is relatively easy. You just use your horse again and swim to the other islands. And the island I'm heading to currently has something very important on it. On this smaller island is this area, and I'll show you on the map here. Right here, where the player is, and you can see the island's location. It's south west of Rhodes, and it's south of two other islands. You have a lockbox. And this lockbox contains a trinket, the cat eye trinket. And the cat eye trinket does, um, and I'm trying to bring it up there, yeah, fuddle around here, but it is a nice trinket. It reduces and... I'm going to show you with the compendium here. The cat eye trinket does permanently increase the duration of fortifying tonic effects by 20%. So your health care, your stimulants, all that stuff increase by 20%, which is really good. Now, the quickest way to get off the island is to camp because you will immediately, immediately be transported to the mainland. And once you're on the mainland, right here, or you'll be at Clement's Point, at some, some way you're transported to the mainland. These islands you can swim to, but you can camp off of them. And that's the easiest way to get off the islands because they automatically assume you did what was necessary to get to the mainland. Now if you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week Sunday through Saturday, and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.